Welcome back to How to Build an F-14 Tomcat. It's been a while since my last video. Me and the wife are, actually we will be moving at the end of the month, so we've been kind of getting that house ready to go. That way once the end of the month rolls around, we can actually move in. Progress, not a lot. As you can see, the canopy and the, the nose cone look the same. I've actually, I'm on my second cut of primer now. This stuff I just got out from the paint booth. So it's still a little, uh, still a little, a little green. It hasn't completely cured yet. But it's getting closer as far as getting ready to start pulling molds off it so for our our canopy get the camera to zoom out actually focus for once there we go so anyway like i was saying get a couple more coats of primer and some some filler and stuff on this and it will be uh it will be ready to pull some molds off so we can start popping some windscreens and canopies off the windscreen area i've got the second coat of resin on it sanded down nice and smooth it's ready to go outside and get some paint put on it as soon as we get a little bit warmer weather. Once that happens, which will probably be around the 1st of April, everything's going to start picking up pretty quickly. I'll have a bigger area, about another 200 square foot compared to what I'm in right now. So I'll have multiple benches to get stuff done so I can do more than one thing at a time. But it's so working our way back. We'll get this started up 1st of April, hopefully. Hopefully by then we'll have all of our nose cone and our canopy areas done. As far as on the fuselage, pretty much the fuselage is done. I've got a couple more panels to do on the aft section of the beaver tail, and I got that's really about it. Our overwing fairing and the the stiffeners for that they're all completed. It's also like I say in earlier in a couple another video. This is our engine access hatch, along with most likely your wing sweep mechanism, fuel tanks, startup, and everything. <laughs> Haven't decided if these are going to actually be pinned at the front with a hatch latch back here or if actually I'm going to hinge it right in this area and have it to where it'll just hinge up and then there will be a couple of access hatches in the front here. Haven't figured that out but we still got a ways to get there. Just a couple of different options. That'd be pretty cool. Another thing for those guys who don't want to have to keep taking the, the canopy in the cockpit out. The full scale actually has a an access hatch right here. This area I'm planning to have completely covered in carbon fiber cloth anyway just for the extra strength right here because there will be a seam running right down here but for those who are interested I may do a special layup to where this will actually come with a, a panel here that can be hinged that way you can actually open this panel and you can get the switches charge jacks fillers all kind whatever you decide to put back there and I could actually do this on both sides fuselage just another idea too many different ways of doing things but Everybody has their own way of doing it, so we'll figure it out. Way back, like I was saying, both overwing fairings are done. All the access panels are in place on the fuselage. See back here, we're finishing up on the the beaver tail. Kind of the full scale shows a it's a it's a panel on here, but it's actually it's covered over with some kind of I guess a weathering paint or something. So I'm still putting it in here just to make my life easier, since it is all one piece on the bottom and the bottoms panel stops right here at the back of the beaver tail and this one stops just slightly past it on both sides so this will be all one piece on the side over here this was actually this is an antenna on the full on the full scale this will be painted and then there's a fuel dump tube that comes out here that I've got to get put on here and then the panels on the top and bottom of that with the that are fared into that tube got to get those done back here all this on the full scale is a carbon fiber uh, heat shield it's gonna be the same way on this this whole area is gonna have a good bit of carbon fiber in it just because that's where the stab pivot and the vertical tail and everything meets up so all that's done you can see the, the area around that has all been uh, sheeted with the litho plate same thing down here as the top this is all carbon fiber so this will all be carbon fiber as well just like on the full scale it'll be up to the the individual owner if they want to paint the area but for it to be scale for a, a B or a D with the F-110 engines, which is the same as a F-16, it will be scale to not paint it. So another option for the guys that decide to do that. Here we got the speed brake for the top, pretty big thing. Like I said, I'm probably going to go with a hydraulic system to actuate the, the three-piece speed brakes, the landing gear and the gear doors. And I haven't figured it out yet, but there may be a way to do the leading edge slats with that as well. 
but we'll figure that out later on. Like I said, I got a lot more to do. You can see the wings are still up there, haven't been touched. I've been busy at the new house getting it ready, trying to refinish some hardwood floors and refinish a oak banister that the previous owners painted. But that's pretty much where we're at. I don't expect to have many more videos this month. We uh, we stay pretty busy at the new house, but I'll try and get some work in on here as I can and keep y'all updated. Cause then I do hope to get the the radome nose cone and the uh, actual canopy section done and ready for molding. That way I can get the the plugs for the the clear cockpit area and everything done by the end of the month. But that's where we're at. For everybody, have a good uh, good March. Hopefully, y'all have better weather than we do. Y'all can do some flying. So. Till next time, see you at the shop.